So that's uh, two cheeseburgers and fries with extra ketchup, hey? Hey, welcome to another episode of 5 Minute Computer Science. My name is Mr. K, and today we're going to be looking at processor performance. So, we're going to be looking at how the width of the control bus, or the address bus, or the data bus affects the performance of your CPU. We're going to also be looking at the word size, and how the word size can ultimately affect the amount of data coming in and how quickly your processor can change that around and process that information. Look at the performance factors. So the first one we need to be familiar with is word size. Now the word size essentially is the amount of bits that a CPU can process simultaneously in any one go. And these vary significantly. So you might have a minimum of eight bits. It could jump up to 64, 128 and so on. And the important thing here is that the, the width of the word size determines how quickly you can get through a block of code or a block of data that needs processing. Say, for example, you think of a supermarket. A supermarket might say have 100 customers, okay? And you might have 10 tills. So if you've got 10 tills and 100 customers, so 100 divided by 10 means that 10 customers can go to each till, right? And let's say it takes a minute per customer. Well, that means that in 10 minutes, we're all done. Okay. However, what would happen if we didn't have 10 um, tills and we actually had less than that? So let's say we had two tills. 100 divided by 2 would mean we've got 50 customers. And 50 customers and one minute per customer would mean it takes us 50 minutes to process all those customers. So that's significantly more than if we had 10. So the size of the word makes a massive difference in terms of the amount of data the processor can get through. Here's an example for you to have a quick look at. So 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit, the, depending on the width of the word, far more data can be processed in any one go. All right. Now, the other thing you need to be familiar with are buses. And there are three types of buses that are very common in computers and CPU performance, the control bus, the address bus, and the data bus. Now, you'll notice that each of those has and can have variable widths. A CPU only ever uses the address bus to give the address of the next location or the location that has the data it's looking for. So that's unidirectional, and it goes in one direction. Whereas, you'll notice that the data bus is in two directions because it's fetching information. And it's bi-directional and we're gonna have a look at each of those in a minute so a data bus all this basically does is it carries the data back from ram into the cpu so the cpu uses the address bus and says can you find me the data in slot number 85 or whatever it might be and then the data bus says yeah i'll take that back to the cpu there you go now rather than go 10 times to fetch a bit of data in ram if the bus size in the data bus size is wide enough, it might be able to fetch all that data in one go. That makes a significant impact in the processor's performance. So address bus is used to send on the address of the memory location, and then the data bus is used to collect that data and bring it back to the CPU. All right, so have a quick look at this for a little bit more information about what we've just covered now. The important thing here, notice, is an eight-line address bus gives us 2 to the power of 8, which is 256 memory addresses inside RAM. But of course, RAM can have significantly more than just 256. So we wouldn't expect to have an 8-line address bus. Today, typically, we'd have 32 or far more than that in terms of uh, the address bus width, giving us a significantly more or greater number of locations that we can access. Okay? Finally, the control bus. Now, the control bus, its job isn't to fetch data or to... Um, drag the address down it does much more than that it's responsible for the timings that are required for each of those different parts of the motherboard it does all the inputs and outputs it's responsible for the interrupts it's responsible for writing to memory and reading from memory so the control bus is obviously a very important aspect of it and again depending on the speed of the control bus and the width of the control bus this will affect the performance of your processor significantly I'm going to leave it at that. Here's a quick overview of the specification if you want to know where this video fits in. That's been 5 Minute Computer Science. Thank you very much.